All right, so I'm going to do a video on my Tobin ARP VGS 20,000. Um, my last video I did bull hog in a small block Mopar head and did pretty well, so I figured I'd show off the machine itself just to get a bit, kind of an overview of what it is. Uh, a lot of people who haven't been in a machine shop don't really uh, know what machines there is as far as like doing work to cylinder heads and stuff like that. And uh, I've always thought this stuff's interesting, so I figured I'd show this off. I don't know the exact year of it. Um, it's old. We'll start with that. Um, so the Sunin bought the or Sunin bought the patent to this. So the Sunin seat and guide machines are pretty much the same thing. Uh, they have like an adjustment up here with a dial for your RPM and stuff. And the head doesn't look exactly the same, but it's an airflow head, and this part looks the same. Same thing with where the head mounts. So you can see there's a serial number. Can't really see, but they're made in uh, Minnesota. Um, somebody put these lasts on here and they just butchered it all the hell. Looks terrible. I mean, they, they cut it because they didn't even make that straight. So I don't know what was going on. Someone had to be pretty drunk. But the worst part is, is the door is locked. Not locked, but they have like a mechanism that holds them shut. So I couldn't tell you the reason behind it. Both of them work still. Then just got your tooling holders. Um, so these are my guides. I got 5 16 8 millimeter, 11 32nd, another 11 32nd. So that's like a tenth bigger, I think, uh, and 3 8 uh, I have the high speed steel ones, I don't have the carbide ones. Um, so this is a guide OD cutter. And then I have different pilots for that. And then same thing with this. This is a different style of one. Um, this is a guide top cutter. And then this is a pilot that goes in there. And then this is for cutting guides out. <clears throat> That's just the little reamer tool I have there. This is supposed to kind of size guides. It opens them up a little bit. And then there's my different... You see those pilots that goes in the top cutter and then this is for the outside diameter and then this is for cutting my seats this is a goodson kit um, this is everything that comes with the kit except for this this is an add-on that's a bull bull hog bull cutter whatever you want to call it um, you put your valve in there and you set set it so you can set this to the proper size and um, these are also um, reamers. So that's, once you cut the guide out, that's a 500, so half inch hole. It goes and opens it up a little bit more. That one's a 3 8 So it'll go into a 3 8 guide and it sits in there and centers it. That's, what, that's why it's smaller. Then it cuts it out to the size. This came with it. Uh, I think this is like a seat cutter of some sort. Um, the guy I got it from bought it off another machinist, so he wasn't like super knowledgeable about everything he had. Um, I do need to find another one of these, well this type of drive, so this is the type of drive that it takes, and I want to get a seat cutting set up for it. Um, I've called a bunch of people and nobody makes this anymore apparently. Uh, I've called like people who remanufacture and resell these, uh, they don't have anything like that. Unfortunately, because I believe the Sunin still takes it, and the Sunin hasn't been out of production that long, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, this is a Sunin angle finder, so it sits on here, and it's the same as the top of your pilot. So once the head's in there, you'll set that on there, and then you adjust it, rock it to this. You turn this, and it tilts it this way or that way. This, this is your up and down. Obviously, this is your stop. Um, these... They can rock back and forth. I just found this out. And there's little set screws in there. You can tighten them up to take the slop out of that. So that helped a lot. And then this is a stop on your, I believe it would be called your quill, I'm guessing. So you loosen that up and then it moves freely. Or you set your tension. And then this locks it from moving side to side. Or this one's in and out. And this one's side to side, which doesn't work. And this turns your motors on. And then this is your airflow. I don't have an airline hooked up to it. So, like right now, it'll slide a little bit. But 
once you push that down, then it floats all around on air. And then when you let go, the air pressure actually locks it in. So you need air to it, even if it's centered up, because that's what holds this in place from moving around. You can see it moved a little bit there. And it's just got a little oiler in there. Um, and this is like a normal drill press. You just loosen that up and then that will fall out. It just has a drive in it right now. As you can see, that's for my valve job or my seat cutter. And then you can see here, it tells you your RPM. So you select high or low. So yeah, wiggle it a little bit. A lot of bit. Whoa. Oh, there it goes. See, now it's in high. Then it's in low. So a lot of your, uh, if you go on like Goodson's website, when you order stuff, they'll tell you what RPM range to run in. Um, like the Sun in, the newer one has a dial on it. You can really hone it in. So I don't have a ton of adjustability on it, but it seems to work for what I got to do. And I have another set of these also that came with it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's just, there's your motor that drives other things. It's got these tiny little belts. I'm not exactly sure what these belts are called. Um, so if you know what they're called, leave it in the comments uh, just to have some spares. And this drives it also, the same little belt. And uh, so this is your fixture to hold your head. So it slides in and out. Um, so you loosen those up, slide these in and out, and then you can lock it in a place. So it'll catch into those. This, see all the grooves all the way down it? That'll catch into there. And then you'll tighten these up so as it moves. These are actually busted off when I got it, so I had to re-tap it and put some different screws in it. And then this is like your fine adjustment. So you tighten this down. If you eyeball it, get close. And then you move that in, and it'll rotate the head. These need to be loose um, so you can do it, or else this will just spin on there. And then it has this bar so you can adjust it, and it keeps it straight. And then it's also numbered on here, so you can, uh, can't really tell. But there's numbers all on here that tell you what each little dot is or line that can go in it. And then you can also unlock it, and you can pull these up. And you can take the whole table off and put like a, something else if you want in there just to pull it closer to you. And then we'll spin this one. So that's what holds these on. It's just a little, like a T that slides in there, a T nut goes in, you tighten it up. And then these were just custom made, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't think that's anything that's bought, but that's how it works. It's the same on both sides. Um, the Sun in one, uh, if I remember correctly, it had, um, so it had like a pedestal up here and then it screwed into this and then it tightened down onto the head. So this was just flat, nothing went through it. I just put head bolts in here and hold it. But if I remember right, the center one had bolts that go through, and then it clamps down on top of the head, and that's what holds it in. Um, so that's a little better setup, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could show, I'll probably film setting a head up on time lapse, and then just how it's so done. Here's my other set of, uh, I guess, pulleys, I guess you say. Um, this one doesn't have any numbers on it, so I have no clue like what the gear ratio or what the rpm would be um, and then these also came with it as you can see they have mics on them but i have no clue what these do so if you guys have any idea let me know um i just want to show that also and i just got some like k liner kit for 3 8 11 30 second bunch of guides that came with it some seats um they're all in a bucket and I organized all of them. It took me forever to do, but I figured I'd get that done. But I haven't a mess, so I actually knew what I had. And then there's just some guide drivers and stuff like that in here. And uh, the old bubble level. Yeah, bubble level. So that's what I replaced this with that. So that's where that is. Um, some other stuff that came with it. I have no clue what it is. But yeah, that's about all I got with it. All right, so I got a just a Magnum head thrown in here. Uh, I just run uh, factory head bolts. 
and I just tighten them up. Once it's somewhat tight, I loosen these up a little bit just so they're not fighting each other. And then that way it's being held in. Oops. As you can see, I don't have a nut on that one. Don't know where my nut went, but if we're actually going to be machining this head, obviously we'd want that on there. Just keep everything happy and tight. But yeah, just some head bolts. Slap those back up there. So then we kind of eyeball it. And then you tighten this up. So once that's tight, you can see it still stays. And then you can fine tune it with this. So that's going to pull it in or bring it in. And that's going to affect this. So you turn this on. This thing just takes a 9 volt battery. So slap the pilot in there. So obviously you'd be working for the bottom of the bowl area. If you're cutting seats or anything like that. But here we're just, we're just kind of showing you how to level it. So there's a ball in here that rolls. You can see how it's circular. And that tells you. So this way we're measuring our roll. This, so we're at 0.37 or negative. So we got ways to go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then that's at 0.2 there. Let's go back to the sheet and see what that's at. It's at 0.2, 0 0.3. So the guy who I learned from, he said a tenth of a degree doesn't really matter, but we'll just do a little extra bit. So we're at 0.3 there. 0.3 there. So now we'll lock it in because that's right. Then you twist it 90 degrees. And that's saying we're rolled this way, 7 degrees. So put on here. What's that say? It's 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Um, so you can shim that. You can put some shims underneath here. I have some shim stock. Um, to be honest, usually I just keep it at the 0 0.8 and then set this to 0.8. That's why it's already at 0.8 on there. And then, I mean, that's pretty much how you level it. So we can shut that off now. And then you'd flip these down that I was showing you earlier. And then you'll make sure these are loose. And you push it in. This you can just eyeball. Obviously, you want room for your tooling to do work. But you need enough room on this to go in and out and around so you have room to go around it. So you slide it to the closest one to wherever it wants to lock in. That's locked in. Obviously, you make sure it's on the same one so you're going across it. And then you tighten these down. These should already be tight. Um, you tighten those down. Tighten all this down. Tighten that up. Uh, you don't have to leave this. Once this is locked, you can undo that if you want. It's whatever you want to do. So that's all leveled, and then you can start doing it. You could start cutting the tops of the guides, um, cutting the spring pocket. Um, just do whatever you got to do, and that's kind of the general setup on this thing.